One of my little favourites, to be fair, I've got a lovely uh, TR716 valve, and uh, they have always been a little favourite of mine, these. And we don't get many dollar mites, and then lo and behold, boom, two come in at the same time. Yeah. There you are, little dollar mite sprint. Yeah, great little car. So Jack, I say, as usual, Jack's been in front of me. He's been doing the videos, sorry, the photographs this afternoon. Uh, young Jack goes around and does a nice bunch of photographs for you. So um, that immediately gives you a bit of an idea as to what we've got. I'm sure he would have photographed things like the VIN, but there you are, you can pause that and turn yourself upside down and have a look at that, can't you? There you go. Again, the keys should be in them. I think we've been making a point of leaving the keys in this afternoon because officially straight up. Officially, there's no viewing at the moment. Look at the hell. Well, now we Moss 8 track, so you can play your Valve Duna couldn't it? There you go. Obviously, a more up to date version. So, we've got a 70s and then we've got an 80s version. Somewhere underneath here, we might even have a 90s version. Overdrive on the dude up. There we go. Stone cold, guys. I haven't had it running today. There's going to be a manifold around here somewhere if I can get to the right side. There we go. Ooh. That was warmed up quick, but there you go. Just to prove she's cold. Can't ask for much more than that, can you? Stone cold. She's on a about ooh, a fifth choke. And there she is ticking over. Ticking over lovely there. Couple of goodies in the back. Looks about right in there, guys. Who did look sound? Looks a real usable little car. Like I said earlier, I've done a quite a few videos this afternoon and we're working down this side and we've got some right nice usable cars. You know, I'm not going as far as to say they're concourse cars, but they're just nice, really smart, usable cars. You know, stuff that you can have a load of fun with without um, without being a nervous wreck. There's a lot to be said for that. There's different places, isn't there, for different cars? Of course there is. Uh, but I can only speak from experience, and as a family, we're lucky enough to have sort of all sorts and all types. And um, yeah, from the top to the bottom, I suppose, really. But the ones that we get the most fun out of are the nice, just nice usable cars. Yeah. And that strikes me as being a nice usable little car. Not perfect. There's one or two little imperfections here and there. A little bit on that door there, just coming just about to, a little bit on that door. You know, you might end up, I mean, I think you'd get away with this season with, um, with some touch-ins, but then you might end up going around the bottom, perhaps over winter. Just little bits, but nothing, you know, what I'm, the bit I'm trying to get across is, it's not all made out of filler. If it was made out of filler, it wouldn't be rusting, would it? Because it'd be all for made out, it wouldn't, it wouldn't <laughs> filler doesn't rust. Uh, so, you're not following three or four, bodge up, load it with filler, make it look pretty type scenarios. And I much prefer to buy something like that, that you can see where you are with it, than something that's just all been doggered up, looking grey, or waiting to go wrong next year. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Your opinion might be different. You might want a doggered up one, I don't know. But anyway, again, we've got some lovely examples. I don't think I'll be wasting anybody's time. I think we've got a real, very, real usable, very genuine little car here. Nice lot of photographs by Jack. I think an accurate video from me, I'd like to say. Next thing is, come down, have a look see what you think see if you want a road going one or a bit of a rally one over there look at that You've got a choice you wait there might even be another one coming in the next three or four weeks before auction day